Our next stop, right here in Times Square, is Paris Baguette. Uh, highly rated place. We just basically noticed it while walking. But, uh, hey, look. How cool this place is. It's right by Times Square. Oh, man. Look at this. Dude, this looks good. Looking for sauce and brioche, blueberry cream brioche. Wow. And there's the fan. Look at all this amazing stuff they have here. Yeah, let's eat something here for sure. We gotta do this place. Oh man, what is this? Walnut cream bread? Oh my god, look at how delicious that looks. So we're gonna grab a tray and we are going to eat at this place. This is just freaking amazing here, man. Freshly made to make your dinner. So you just like come over here and you grab a tray and they have like paper and you put the paper on the tray and then you have these little tongs that you can pick your stuff with and then you just go at it. And look at this awesome assortment of pastries and bread there at the end. I already got you this, I thought you were going to get that. What is it? Like a green donut. Oh, nice. Thank you, honey. That's cool. Tiramisu donut, giant size. Look at that chocolate covered croissant down there. Oh man. It's 14.21. Oh man, the king cream donut. Coffee bun. There's that chocolate covered croissant. Strawberry croissant right here. Alright, so here's what we got here. So we got this honey bread, uh, we got this cream donut, we got this uh, hot dog roll. And look at that cake, that cake just looks amazing. A little croissant here, some twisty donuts. And it looks like we got like a croissant. How is that? We'll uh, just go inside here. We'll look at the salad. Alright, so we're gonna try this out first. Oh, look at that. That just looks amazing. Alright, here we go. Mmm. Oh man, that nice gush of cheese with this fresh sausage, it just looks so good, it tastes amazing. It's kind of a little bit sweet, got a little bit of a, a tiny, small, almost unnoticeable kick to it. This is absolutely delicious, nice and crunchy on the top. Yeah, this just has like a, a really good, complex taste to it. The cheese and all the stuff just make it so freaking amazing. This this is one of the very best collage type things I've ever had. Chicken pesto. 
So this is the chicken pesto sandwich. Looks like it has like... Red bell peppers, mozzarella, basil. Oh man. Pesto. Let's look under the hood here. Oh. That looks... Alright, we're going in. Alright. So this is the uh, the chicken pesto sandwich. Mm. I'm not a big fan of pesto. This isn't bad, but I wouldn't have picked this. Ginger wanted it. So I just let her grab it, but I'm not a big fan of this. It's just not my style, but I mean, if you like pesto, if you like chicken, you'll probably love this, but I did, this just, I don't like pesto that much. Um, I don't like, this just isn't my speed. I wouldn't have picked this. I would have picked like one of the mozzarella things, but oh well. It is, I can't say anything bad about the sandwich itself. It's just not my taste. That dressing is good. Do you like it? Is it good? I mean, you like the stir thing. I wouldn't have picked it, but that's on you. It's fine. I like sausage better. Yeah. Alright, Stella has a smoked salmon and avocado for sun. Oh, I didn't know they had one. It's over there in the case over there, the freshly made case. Really? Are you sure? All right, so we're going to try the smoked salmon and avocado croissant. Looks like it's got some cream cheese on it as well. And we're going in here. Mm. Definitely more my speed. It's like a Philly roll, like a sushi Philly roll, but instead it's in a croissant and it's delish. This is this is great. Um, the croissant is nice and flaky. Very soft, very fluffy, airy. So good. With that flakiness, just has a little bit of crunch on the outside. Just very delicate crunch, and it's just, that's fantastic. And I've, this sandwich has really grown on me. I wasn't a big fan of pesto. The more I eat this, the more I realize this is a very well balanced, well put together sandwich. And overall, I'm, I, I wish I would have got some different, but this is good. This is definitely enjoyable. And, if, and again, if pesto and chicken is your thing. Go for it. This is this is good, even for someone who wouldn't have got this. It's a sweet. It's a sweet bread. It's um gave me like Dollywood vibes. I had to get like the pull apart bread. Mm -hmm. Try it. It's got like a like a honey glaze to it. It's really good. And moist. All right, we're going for the sweet bread. Mm. This is good. A very good bread flavor. Like a, you know, a nice yeast roll. Not too sweet, but still pretty enjoyable. Um, I wouldn't get it again, but it is, it is good if this is your sort of thing. If you like rolls, nice yeast rolls, with that nice, fresh, yeasty bread taste, that's right up your alley. Here's the cream donut. It's got like a Boston cream filling in the middle of it. As you can see right here, powdered sugar on the outside. And we're gonna go in. It's good. It's not my, not something I would go for either. Again, ginger pick pretty much everything out here, but it's still it's decent for what it is. Um, just not my speed. Mm. All right, we're gonna try this twisty cinnamon bread thing. Mm. 
A what? There's like a, a nice bread roll with cinnamon sugar on it. I'm not a fan. This is okay, but um, again, not something I would get. Alright, take a look at this. This is the walnut, walnut roll or whatever. Walnut bread, something like that. It's got walnuts on the outside and like thick cream in the middle. So we're gonna try this out here. Good second. All right. Look at that. That looks pretty decent. All right, let's try this out. So it's got the walnuts on the outside. It's almost like a honey butter on the inside, which I do like the honey butter. If we had honey butter like in that in that bread thing that we just had, that would be great. Um, I prefer the honey butter over stuff like that cream filled thing. This, this honey butter is jamming. This is actually pretty good. Mm. Nice, fluffy, and the honey butter gives it a, a, a sweet taste to it. There's some powdered sugar there on the outside, and you get this nice crunch and walnut taste from the walnuts, broken walnut pieces that are on top, like baked into it. This is probably my favorite thing that I've had here. Um, again, that sandwich did grow on me. I did like the sandwich, but I really do like this, and I really do like that um, that salmon avocado uh, croissant as well. Those are my three favorites if I had to pick. Now we're going to wash this down with some coffee. Oh yeah, that's good coffee right there. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, this is some really good iced coffee. It with milk and without milk, and like, that comes. Oh sweet. my god, that is so good! That is some really, really good coffee. Just a really good, straight up kind of basic coffee. All right, you have the strawberry so one. Well. You get the strawberry one. All right. Pour that? So we're gonna get this. We're gonna finish off with this cake right here. It has all that. Looks like it's got some sort of glaze on it. All right, so here we go. This cake looks really interesting. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. It's like a jello cake. So it's layered, and it's got like jello cream in between each of the layers, and the nice fluffy frosting there on the top. That's just amazing. Yeah, that's one hell of a cake, and it's just really soft and just moist and just absolutely delicious. Very, very, very good. Very light. Yeah, that's an excellent, and I've always been a, been a big fan of the jello cakes. That's definitely a, a, an excellent one. So, uh, yeah, I cannot, Paris Baguette is, a, is an amazing bakery. I can't take anything away from it. And the few things, or the one thing that I did pick out, I really liked a lot. Everything else that I tried, I thought was good for what it was, but it wasn't something like you go into a bakery, there are things that you would want, things that you wouldn't get. Ginger and I are just very different on that front. So I let her kind of pick everything out. And uh, I will say that everything that, things that I wouldn't have picked out ended up being enjoyable. Um, but yeah, this, like the sandwich, you know, the sandwich ended up being pretty good. Um, so I think my favorite would have been the sandwich, the, uh, 
the croissant, that cake was really good, that rainbow cake. And um, that, uh, that walnut roll with the honey butter was just fantastic. So yeah, I mean this is definitely a, a place well worth the, the high ratings that it has. Uh, and I would definitely recommend coming here if you're in the area. The coffee was phenomenal. So this is a great experience. And uh, I can't forget the sausage roll. That sausage roll was on point. That alone made it worthwhile. So the sausage roll, the pleasant surprise in that sandwich that we had. Um, and then, of course, that wonderful walnut bread with the honey butter, with the walnut and the honey butter just blended so perfectly with that soft bread. And that nice jello cake, rainbow jello cake. Uh, and the coffee was just fantastic. So yeah, uh, we got a lot of stuff. Um, and this is definitely a great place. If you go there, see something that's your speed, grab it and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. By the way, tell your boss to fuck off. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you for checking out this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, everybody.